Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We got a fun one for you today, really easy to do. We've got a vertical scrolling image slider. As you can see, I've got a large image here. Got a little icon at the top here. If I click on it, it's going to slide to the next one. Click on it again. Next one, etc. All the way down. And the last one, if you click on it, it's going to take you back to the top. Really easy to do. Great little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new page and we'll start from scratch. We'll give it a title. Then we're going to use a Divi Builder. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. It puts in a section for us that prompts us to put in a row. I'm going to use a single column for my row. Inside, funnily enough, we're going to use an image module. Let's grab an image. I guess I'll start with that feather I started with before. Great. But we really want this to be full width, this image, and to be as deep as it wants to be. So let's just save this. I'm going to go into my row, the green tab for the row. Just click on the image. There's the green tab. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to make this row full width. To do that, I'm going to go into design, sizing, width. 100%. I'm going to copy that 100%. Control C. I'm going to paste it down below in the max width. And we've now got a bigger image. To make this image stretch all the way, we need to force it full width. I'll do that back in the image module. But while we're in the row, let's close up sizing. We're going to take any padding away top and bottom in spacing. Just put a zero in the top. I hit the chain. We'll have a zero in the bottom as well. It's getting there. It's getting there. We need to do the same for our section so we've not got any gap at the top there. So let's save this. We'll go into the section, the blue tab. Do exactly the same thing over in design, spacing. Put a zero in there, hit the chain. Perfect. Okay, well, let's make this image full width. To do that, just click on the image. We'll go back into the Im image module, the dark tab. If we go over to design here and sizing, force full width, we've got a full width image. It's taking up all of our screen there. Fantastic. Great, well, we've got our first image. But we want to have a little icon somewhere around here that says you can do something with it, like a little down arrow, so we can go to our next one. So let's add that. Again, just click on the image. Little dark button to add a new module. I'm going to add an icon. Keep this fairly simple. We're just going to have a down icon. As you can see, it's added it right there. Fantastic. Well, I don't want it right there. I actually want it maybe up in the right-hand corner or up in the left-hand corner, wherever you decide to put yours. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Advanced, down posi to Position. I'm going to change it from Default to Absolute. It's going to disappear. Well, it's not actually disappeared. It's on our top left-hand side. We've got a grid here. We can put it top left, top middle top right which is where I'm going to have mine you could put it in the middle then you could put it down the bottom I wouldn't recommend that because our image is taller than the fold there so I'm going to put mine up on the right I'm going to go over to design I'm going to make it white in color but I'm going to take that color down a little bit in opacity so it's not quite as in your face until you hover over it so just click on the color variegated slider here take this down it's visible, but not outrageous up there. And then when they hover over it, we can bring it back to a full white by rolling up over the dark writing. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you see a little arrow there, click on it. We've got two tabs. Desktop's when the mouse is not on it. That's what we've got. I think I need to make that a little bit more profound. And we get a full white. Let's go back onto desktop. Just bring that opacity up a little bit. Something like that. That's fine. I want to adjust that a little bit. It's a little bit too big. I want to bring it in and down slightly. Let's do the size first. If we roll down a little bit here, 
It's 96 picks. I'm going to make mine perhaps 60. And if we go back over to advance and position, vertical offset, let's maybe give it 10 pixels. Drops it down by 10. And let's bring it in by 10 as well. That's okay. Works for me. Obviously, adjust yours accordingly. And the only thing, we've got a little bit of white space here. If we go back into our row, we can adjust our gutter there and get rid of that. So let's save our icon settings. I'm going to click on the image, go back into the row, the green tab. We go over to design and sizing. Here we've got custom gutter width. I'm going to take this from three down to one. Gutter width is the space to the right and below any element. So take it down to one. And we've got rid of that little gap at the bottom there. Fantastic. Well, now we're happy with that. And I'll find the easiest way to duplicate it is to go down, hit the little purple button, go to our wireframe mode, which takes us to back end mode for Divi. This is how you used to edit back in the day. I'm going to duplicate this. We'll go into the image. And we'll swap out that image. But I'm also going to give this section a CSS ID so we can link to it from the top. I'm going to call this picture two. So I'm going to go into the section itself, advanced CSS IDs. I'm going to call it pick two. I'm going to go into the top one there. I'm going to call this one picture one advanced. We're in the section. Remember CSS IDs and classes, make sure you put it in the ID and not the class. It will not work in the class. Now we want to link this icon when they click on it to our second image right here. Really easy to do. If we go into the icon, under content, we'll find link. We know this has got a CSS ID of pick two. So we just need to put a hashtag and pick two to link to a CSS ID. All you need to do is put a hashtag in front of it. That's great. Well, let's just save a draft. And check this is going to work on the front end. Here we've got our first image. If I roll down, we've got our second image right below here. But we want to take image one, hover over the icon, it's going to come into focus, get brighter. If we click on it now, it's going to scroll down to image two. That's it, we're pretty much done. All we need to do is repeat process for as many images as we want to put in there. So if we re enable the visual builder, Again, I'm going to go to back end mode, little purple button or wireframe mode, I should say. I'm going to duplicate this one more time. This one's going to be called pick three. So if we go into the section, CSS ID in class, pick three. And we want to go into this icon, go down to link and link it to pick three. And this one. We'll want to link to pick four. And we need to switch this image out. And duplicate one more time and just keep going for as many as you want here. Section, advanced CSS IDs and classes. This is now going to be pick four. And we've already got our icon linked to this one. And we'll just do one more and we'll have it go back up to the top. So I'm going to copy this section again. This now wants the link to pick five. And we need to change our image. Now this icon, we're going to link back to the top. And I'm also going to change it for an up arrow rather than a down arrow, because it's going to be going back the other way. And our first section at the top had an ID of pick one. So we just need to change that link to pick one. It'll take us back up to the top again. Obviously add as many as you want. I've only done four or five here today. One other thing, if we go back to the front end, I'm going to click on the desktop icon there. And we've got all of our images there. Fantastic. 
Now, if you roll over an image and it's got a, the image title there or an image number there, you can take that away by going into the actual image itself. Remember, it's the dark tab from the image. If you go over to attributes, it'll have that title in there. This is a AI generated image and it's got that crazy title there. You can change it to something else. Or just get rid of it if you don't want to have anything over the top there. Just like that. Fantastic. Well, let's save draft. We'll exit the visual builder. And here we got our first image. There we got our little icon. We could get rid of that name again, like I showed you. Got our little icon. We hover over it. It's going to go to the next one. Same with this one. Again, we can get rid of that title. Go to the next one. Next one next one this is our last one so i've got it pointing back up to the top again so we can go up there it'll take us back to the top let's quickly get rid of these crazy names and enable the visual builder once more again i'm going to go to wireframe mode and then go to each image advanced attributes get rid of that crazy title that it's given it next one pretty quick process but that one's not got one fantastic and the last one yeah we should be good to go Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And here's our vertical image slider. Nice full width image. Got an icon that's going to light up when we hover over it. Second image. Third image, as you can see, no attributes now. Fourth image. Fifth image, last image. Going to go back up to the top. There we have it. Really easy to do, vertical slideshow. Really great thing to have on your site. Nice and interactive. And you can showcase some huge images doing it this way. And of course, it'll work just as well on tablet and mobile if I hit my F12 key. Here we've got it on iPhone 12. And it'll just scroll through these images exactly the same way. And on an iPad, very similar. Got a little icon there. Let's hit it. We'll scroll down. And back to the top with this one. Great. So there you have it, guys. There's one very easy vertical slider with links using little icons right here. Have a go at it. If you do have a go at it, drop us a link down below. Let us see what you've done with it. Always great to see your work. Don't forget, if you've got any questions today, drop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.